What's the best dual band handheld ham radio? In this video, we'll break down our top three picks, going over their standout features and the key things you should think about before choosing the right one for you. You'll also find pricing details and links to every radio we mention down in the description. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and tap the bell icon so you never miss our latest reviews. All right, let's jump in. Coming in at number three, our best budget-friendly pick is the Baofeng BF F8HP. If you're just getting started with ham radios or want a low-cost backup, the Baofeng BF F8HP is a great choice. It's affordable, under $100, and gives you a lot of useful features for the price. It has three power levels, around 1 watt on low, 4 to 5 watts on medium, and 7 to 8 watts on high. This helps you save battery when needed or boost your signal when you want more range. One cool feature is that it can listen to two channels at the same time. That's something you don't usually get in cheaper radios. The 2000 mAh battery lasts a long time, so you won't have to charge it constantly. You can save up to 128 channels, and it even lets you listen to FM radio. If someone sends a message while you're listening to music, it will pause the radio so you don't miss anything important. Overall, the sound is clear, the range is decent, and it's easy to use. The antenna it comes with is also better than what you usually get with radios in this price range. There are a couple of downsides. It's easier to set up with a computer and a USB cable, and while the high power is nice, it doesn't always make a big difference in everyday use. In short, if you want a cheap and reliable dual-band radio with real features, the BF F8HP is one of the best options out there. Next up, taking the premium spot for top-tier performance is the ICOM ID52A. The ICOM ID52A is ICOM's top handheld radio, and it definitely feels like a premium device. It's one of the biggest HTs out there, which can be a plus or minus depending on how comfortable it feels in your hand. But the extra size brings benefits. The 2.3-inch screen is larger than most, and it's the first handheld to show a full-color waterfall display. The speaker is also impressive, putting out 750 milliwatts of loud, clear audio, and your transmitted audio sounds just as good. This is a dual-band radio for 2 meters and 70 centimeters, but it can also receive FM broadcast and airband, giving you more to listen to. Since it's an ICOM, you get D-Star digital mode, and the radio can switch between analog and digital smoothly, even using both at once. The built-in GPS works with ICOM's repeater database, so it's easy to find and connect to repeaters wherever you are. On top of that, it includes Bluetooth, works with the RSMS1A mobile app, has adjustable power from 5 watts down to 0.1 watts, and is built tough with an IPX7 waterproof rating. Of course, it's not perfect. There's no APRS support, which is disappointing for the price. It still uses micro USB instead of USB-C, and while the bigger screen is nice, it's not very bright outdoors. The contrast is weak, and blacks can look gray. Even with those downsides, the ID52A is still a true premium handheld. With strong transmit and receive performance, waterproofing, GPS with repeater list, Bluetooth, and that standout color waterfall display, it clearly earns its spot at the top of the market. And finally, our overall winner, the best dual-band radio for most hams, is the Yaisu FT70DR. For most ham radio users, the Yaisu FT70DR is a great choice. It gives you a good mix of price and real digital features from a trusted brand. Even though it's one of Yaisu's cheaper radios, it still has C4FM Digital and Wires X. These are basic versions, but that's the point. You get to try advanced features without paying for the expensive models. It's not perfect. Programming can be tricky. The sound, while clear, can sometimes feel a bit muffled, and the battery doesn't last very long. Many people just buy an extra battery to fix that. In everyday use, it works well, covering 144 to 148 MHz and 434 and 50 MHz for transmitting, and it can receive from 108 MHz to 579.99 MHz. The colored LEDs above the screen make it easy to see which band and mode you're using. It doesn't have APRS, which is on Yaisu's higher-end radios, but it does keep useful tools like digital group monitor and ID display. The build is strong, IP54 splash and ready for outdoor use. It's often compared to the VX6R, which is waterproof and covers three bands but has no digital mode. 
That's why the FT70DR is a better fit for most people. You get digital at a lower price. If you can spend more, the FT3DR or FT5DR have extra features, but for most, the FT70DR is the perfect middle ground. Tough, capable, digital, and affordable. Thanks for watching. Check the links in the description for current prices, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Have a great day.